Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the moving optical illusions. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is to print out the templates, which I put links in the description, and then you're going to be able to uh, do this experiment. So what you need to start off this experiment is you need to print these out on transparency paper. So there's a whole bunch of different patterns. And then there's this one here, the master template. You need one of those because that's used for every uh, one. I use some poster board here that I cut out exactly the size of the, uh, the transparency paper, which is just a regular piece of paper. Uh, this helps it guide the template over the other um, uh, ones you print out. So... You can see mine's a little beat up here. I've had it for many years, um, but uh, fingerprints will take off the ink as time. So you put down your first template and then you take your master template and you drag it across the template. And that's where the poster board will keep it in line. And so it goes straight. And as you can see, it gives it that moving, that really awesome moving effect. So the optical illusion looks like it's moving or going down a hallway and for, for this example, and if you pull back the other direction, it looks like now um, now you're going down the hallway before you're exiting the hallway. It's just this really awesome effect and um, just incredible. And you can do this with different uh, templates that I have in the descriptions. Here's one of my favorite ones here, the cat. And as you can see, as you go slower, um, the cat will slow down. Or if you go quicker, the cat starts to run faster. Um, all these um, uh, templates I got from Breast Pup generously provides these on their website, which I'll list in the description below. They're incredible. These people put these together. Um, it's just uh, amazing. And you'll be able to print them out on transparency paper and, uh, and do them yourself. Our brains are really complex, right? So they're constantly processing data uh, coming all in from all our senses, you know, and our eyes provide that input and it sends a huge amount of that information to our brain, which is actually rather astonishing as it figures out everything it's brought into. To see motion, you need at least two objects so that one can uh, move relatively to the other. Sometimes one of those objects is you. If you turn your head, the room you're sitting in looks like it's turning the other way. But our brain compensates for that. It knows it's moving. And your perspective of the room is motionless. But this works the other way too. You can make the brain think something is moving even when it's not. That's the principle behind this wonderful optical illusion created by Bruspa. Isn't that awesome? Your brain swears those drawings are moving even though you can see they're not. Basically, what's happening is it's just fooling your brain. There's a, a number of these different printouts you can do. And like I said, you need to print these out on transparency paper. Any kind of office supply store will print these out for you so you don't have to use all your own black ink or go buy the transparency paper. It's really, really cheap. Um, you don't have to print them all out. Uh, most important is you got to get your... Uh, master template uh, this one on the left that I'm pushing forward um, is the biggest one and you can see you want to make sure you're always facing down um, the piece of transparency paper that was printed on use the other side as you can see I'm missing chunks out of here because I have a lot of kids use these and um, <laughs> they don't turn them the right way and their fingerprints um, take some of the ink off the transparency but overall, they still work. I've had these for, for many, many years. Here's a cool one here. Just a, a stick guy walking down the street. Um, and what's cool is the kids really love is you move it slow and you can see them moving. But if you pull it back a little quicker, uh, you can speed everything up and um, it goes back and forth. And, and that's kind of why I use that poster board as a template because you're able to push it back and forth and it stays on track. It's kind of like a track. So um, it's not needed. Uh, you can slide these over without the poster board. Um, here's a little Pac-Man um, getting shot, but he's eating all the, the, the little BBs coming into it. Um, so as you go, you can see the, the gun going up and down. Here's one. Um, I got a little bit of a glare here. That red line's not in there. Um, I don't know how I got the glare on this one. But there's a dinosaur, a little T-Rex here uh, running towards you. A little Jurassic Park. And then... Um, you can uh, slow them up or speed them up back and forth by moving the paper or the template back and forth a little bit quicker. 
Um, you know, like I said, uh, these get used many, many times at my house. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and uh, um, you'll use them over and over. Here's a nice little uh, gear that's taking in some balls or some some steel steel balls and dropping them down into the Pac-Man there, and he's eating them all up. So you can pull it back the other way, and you can see it's this is all monitored. Your eyes are tracking the the parallel slits, right? And from our perspective, uh, they're not moving. But when the slits are evenly spaced like they are, and others come in between it, then it repeats the slit and the line moves over the part of the drawing behind it. And so our brain sees the animation, even though the drawing's not moving. Here we're smashing those balls down and making them flat. A little production line here, that's pretty cool. And uh, we got a couple more. And uh, But uh, this is uh, one of those fun fun optical illusions that just fools your brain and absolutely kids will love it i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe and thanks for watching there's one more right after this